do you think there needs to be more regulation or more training for this? Because you said there's no license, right? From a realtor perspective, I think you probably hear me next door, but I'm transparent enough. Nine out of 10 realtors fail, whether they're realtors or just real estate agents or whatever the case may be. Some just don't care. Yeah. Those are the idiots. Then you get other people that just like, oh, cool, let me get my license. They're taught the laws and mm -hmm. not how to get sued. But most of them don't know the basic foundations of like business 101. Right or practices, chair site manner, basic accounting principles. Like you need all those little aspects to run your business. And then I know realtors that whether they do it part-time or they've never bought a house before, they're out helping people buy the most expensive houses out there. The common sense tells me that's just dumb, yeah. right? It, it just mm -hmm. doesn't make sense from like a transparent standpoint. So from the lending side, and also I think there could be a thing where Continued education's online in Wisconsin. I never did this flat out, but it's all online. I can literally pay someone if I wanted to. Yeah. Hey, here's a hundred bucks. Just pass the test for me. Right. Right. Does there need to be more regulation in the lending field? Is it the same concept where people come and go because they don't know what they're doing? Like, what does that look like? Because I've worked with some lenders and I'm thinking maybe you set the bar this high <laughs> and they're just here, but mm. there's some sort of disparity and I don't, maybe you're just that good. I don't know what it is, but it throws me off and I get pissed when someone's like, oh, use my guy from Rocket Mortgage. And I'm thinking, great. He's not going to even be on the phone three days from now. It's going to be somebody else right. or this bank or that bank. It's, it, you know what I mean? Like, I do. What, what, yeah. does that, what does it look like and what needs to happen? Yeah. So, you know, uh, a lot of, so t you do have to, unless you work at a bank, if you work at a bank, you technically don't need a license because you fall under a federal bank charter. Oh. So, but if you work at a company like Cross Country Mortgage, that's just a mortgage company, we have to have and maintain our NMLS number. So uh, we do have to do uh, uh, upfront uh, coursework. We have to go in person and take the test. But then every year after that, it's basically eight hours that's required and um, so you have to do continuing education. Some states have a test, some don't. Uh, but then we also have corporate training too, where they're constantly, you know, these online modules that we have to go in every month pretty much and, and you know, watch an hour video about whatever changes or, you know. Um, Sometimes they're a joke. but Yeah, it was <laughs> like we have like sexual harassment. We have, uh, you know, sensitivity training. We have... Um, you know, all kinds of different tr modules that we have to take throughout the year to maintain corporates. Um, but there are some companies that, you know, that don't have a lot of that. Some of the smaller lenders may not have the same sort of, kind of like Keller Williams. Keller Williams is pretty good at training. They take new agents and they offer them all of these tools. They're a big company. But if you're working for a mom and pop brokerage in your world, they may not have that. But that's not to say that, uh, you know, you, you really got to be motivated to learn uh, as, as the individual. So when a new loan officer comes into the business, if they're hungry and they want to learn, they'll figure it out. And so it's the same realm almost. Pretty much. And especially okay. if you have like a mentor, like I'm really big, like Beth was my mentor and she still is. I could call her anytime. She's one of the top loan officers in the country. And, you know, I could call her and get her opinion. And in fact, I do because we're, counterparts now we're both managers of teams and so you know i regularly ask her hey how would you handle this hey how would you handle that so the mentorships part of it i feel like is huge mm -hmm. and it is kind of lacking in our world um there aren't a lot of of you know uh, uh mentorship programs there there's it, it's it's a big investment to get licensed and to get your foot in the door and if you think that's just getting licensed licensed is gonna gonna help your business take off. That's not your like what you said. It's just enough to keep you out of jail, but it right. doesn't teach you how to talk to people. It doesn't teach yeah. you the bedside manner. It doesn't teach you, you know, the ins and outs of it and all the different nuances and how we talk to realtors and what we're legally allowed to share with attorneys and you know all all this all this other stuff that goes into it. I really feel like the best way is to have a, a, a mentor, have a senior person, whether it's a realtor that, you know, a, a young person wants to partner up with and, and kind of learn the ropes from, uh, you know, in my world as well. I feel like that's the best path to success. P companies like Rocket, I don't think they have that. I think they just no. kind of throw you, you know, throw you in, into the lion's den. and five salary, here's a bonus if you get it. Yep, hope yeah. for the best, you know, and it's like they don't really – 
teach you all of the, and, and we don't want to pick on, on just Rocket, but there's a lot of lenders out there that really don't have a good grasp on what it takes to get from point A to point B. 